defense boys. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swine herds. Perfect fit for your gun. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shit? Had enough peasant spawn? Thought yourself a match for a Von Everett? I mean, a witcher? Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jaw. Yes. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh, all right. <sighs> Your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? Hot black eggs from pounding the churn. So I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bore. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you.
Captain. Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, now the shock's faded, perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, what do you want, Captain? Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Mm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. Ah. Oh. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride, the cat. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. 
What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely them with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be behind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Christ won't hold eternal, Christ will best be there, or she'll make you a purple in the coming year. What's the groom of King Hatton's daughter on his brow? Must be said, Garland, 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 cow! You can think now, now, oh, the cow behave! So drink and be merry! That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Gear's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. Yes. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick. Go back whence you came, please. Stay out of this. <laughs> stop! I beg you, stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your mouldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> to back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. 
Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. <laughs> Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Joris. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. <laughs>